<clears throat> All right. Let's give this another go. Reset my router again. Turn down the quality even more. I mean, if this doesn't work, I have no idea what I'm going to have to do. I guess I'll have to end stream if it starts lagging real bad like it did when we ended it. And figure something out and stream tomorrow. But uh, <clears throat> hopefully... We won't have to do that, and we can finish off the show as we were right dab smack in the middle of this Fusion Tag Team Championship number one contenders match. So let's see if we can, uh, let's see if the Twitch gods smile down on us and my internet uh, shows us a little bit of mercy. So let's get right into the news. As we were just about to see the Party Express take off. Shanaz stomping a mud hole in Chris Sullivan. Out here comes Jimmy Gimmick as the legal man. We see Shindig Shabang. Oh, and there's some immediate lag. That's great. Didn't even wait. Didn't even give us uh, even a one minute. But a pitiful attempt by Gimmick, guys. After it's all brought together with that drop kick, just a two count. As now Gimmick with a stomp down onto the lower back, tries to stay in control, even though that was not enough to get the job done. Goes up to the second turnbuckle, and a knee drop attempt does not come to fruition for Gimmick. As now he's brought up to his feet, they stare face to face. Ah, oh, we see this from Sullivan often in his matches. The implant. Buster, a maneuver you don't see a whole lot. And for good reason, it is nasty. Now Sullivan with a, wow, that was a, that was a hell of a drop kick right there. Another one now ducks the close line and the crossbody. Sullivan rolling right now. The Brass Ring Club just a three count away from earning themselves another shot at the Ballers Club and the tag team titles. There's the half Irish backbreaker. Irish whip into the corner. And a tag to JT Fury. Gonna change positions, but for a second time, Magic Killer. Fury hooks the leg. Will that do it? Here comes Jimmy Gimmick trying to make the save. Sullivan too late to stop Shanaz. I should say from uh, for a breaking of the pin. Does it a second time. JT very persistent. Now Shanaz taking out Sullivan with a jumping DDT. Springboard, nice blockbuster. That was picture perfect execution right there. I don't know what to do. Who's a, oh, Wiz. Someone traveled out here. I'll pay your expenses. Come throw out my shit all the time where it doesn't lag at all for like two months and then just randomly goes on a tangent. What is this? Someone explain to me. I need help. Tag new Shanaz at all. A little bit of, what up? Surprise blowjob from the top rope after the scoop slam from Gimmick. Springboard. I thought he hit Murphy for a second. That's the board like drop. Way off base now. Fury tries to capitalize on that, but Shanaz with the European uppercut. Whoa. Chopping him right in the midsection. The double knees right up to the face. As the arena number one, Baba. What a knee that was in a Hurricane Rana. Look at Shanaz go. One of the best to ever do it, right here. I'm put. I'm putting my foot down. No Shanaz hate. Oh, and look at that! Oh no! How dare JT Fury interrupt? The pelvic gets a chop to the throat for that, but Fury responds to the knee to the gut. Now an Irish flip into the corner. Tag Chris Sullivan, clean tag. Here comes Boston Zone. So hold elbow drop combination. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Springboard cross body by Sullivan now. Definitely a well-rounded competitor is solely but loves to take to the air. <laughs> with an old school atomic drop, not just once but twice. Look at that. 
Feeling awfully good right now. Should ask for a third. Taking a page out of uh, the Bloody Brits playbook. Now an uppercut right up under the chin. Boot to the jaw, though. Shanaz there, they're gonna stagger back. Sullivan looks to use the distance to his advantage. <laughs> now Sullivan just staring down at Don't even look at that. Shanaz uses the opening, the little bit of time that was given to him. Victory roller, Sunset Flip pin into the ring, tries to steal it. But not enough to keep Sully down with such an opportunity on the line. The winning team here goes to Regicide to challenge the Ballers Club for the tag team titles. Look at Sullivan go though, forearm smash and Shanaz really out of the ring, and now a suicide dive. Goes for a little bit of a wheelbarrow or a drop kick or something. Did Shanaz there on the outside. Already at the count of three, there's a wheelbarrow arm drag. Like I said earlier, Brass Ring Club and Shindig Shabank currently one and one apiece. And Brass Ring Club won their match by count out. Are they gonna try to do that again here? Maybe a don't gonna try to try to drag out the refs count here. Whoa, it's a legit way to win. Nah, I don't not that kind of guy though. Sends Sullivan back in the ring, then chases after him. But look at that. Sullivan uses the the little sliver of an opening there to make the hot tag to JT. Now look at these single leg drop kicks. Hammering away at Andoni. Jawbreaker though. Shanash shoots in, goes for a little bit of a cheeky jab. Hand punch, hook to the jaw, and here comes JT. Schoolboy pops out of it, butterfly DDT. This time into the pin, guys. That's far across the ring. Can Gimmick make it a time to save his tag team partner? No, he does not have to. Shanash kicks out on his own. Look at JT eyeing Gimmick. Like, you best stay out of here, fam. Oh, and now JT, now JT, guys, they're gonna bring it all together. Gonna go for that TKO for the Brass Ring Club to be named number one contenders. I'm sure the Ballers Club are watching this matchup pretty closely backstage. One, two, three. The Brass Ring Club are going to Regicide. Where was Gimmick there? And this has got to feel good for the BRC. They've been wanting to get their hands on the Ballers Club. Now they're going to get the chance with the titles on the line. Four weeks time. Scoring club outperform Shindig Shebang here tonight. And now have got themselves a big chance come Regicide to become the Fusion Tag Team Champions. And a tweet here, guys, from Josh Wolf says, Jesus Christ, did I do that to Sullivan's face? No, Wolf, you did not. You don't have to feel bad. It was the Bowlers Club, actually, who did it during the Tag Team Cup. So now they're going to get the chance at revenge. I need to figure out what the fuck to do. I kind of want to take a... Uh, I can't now. I was actually going to take... I was thinking about taking a week break. Give it a lag out of its system. But I can't really now. Because if I do, then... Uh, I don't know. God, Jesus Christ. Hopefully this doesn't lag. So, how was that? I wasn't really paying attention to that last one. I only looked over a couple of times. 
I saw that it was lagging, but I didn't see how much. I don't know what to do. I guess I could try changing my room around a bit. <laughs> that I know it sounds nuts, but that has actually worked before. This has happened like two or three times in the past where no matter what I did, it would keep lagging. And when I changed my room around, rearranged things, then it stopped. I don't know why. But uh, like I said, hopefully we can just fucking get through this. Oh, I can try to fix it tonight. But here we go, guys. Our third matchup of the evening here on Fusion number 116. A non-title light heavyweight championship showdown between this man, the Dak Percy Simmons. And of course, his opponent will be none other than the new light heavyweight champion, Jay Davis. Percy Simmons returning after an eight-week injury put him on the shelf. Looking better than ever. Kind of a similar story between these two. Because Jay Davis also returned from injury. Actually, right around the same time Percy did. Davis last night at Dark Carnival. And a fantastic matchup defeating Matt Devious to win back the light heavyweight championship. Percy Simmons also coming off a win last night at Dark Carnival on the pre-show. That six-man tag. See if he can utilize that momentum, guys. If he defeats Jay Davis here very well. Could see himself named number one contender. Oh, shit. We have got a big old tweet here, guys, from Matt Devious, who says, as I drove home last night, I didn't think about how I was beat. I just thought about how I was screwed again. Look how big my opponent was. I demand that the current champion gets his weight checked because he certainly isn't a light heavyweight. Refund my title. Refund my title. That's a great line. Yeah, Jay Davis definitely since returning, you know, it's very clear that he bulked up. But he did. He was weighed, and he did qualify just barely, but he did for the light heavyweight championship. Devious apparently wants him to be weighed again. Percy Simmons ready to go, guys, and certainly still a lot. Night on Fusion. Up next after this, that six-pack challenge. As voted by the CM Universe, and we'll find out who will challenge Pierre Thompson for the United States Championship regicide. As here he comes, the new CMB Light Heavyweight Champion, two-time, 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 Jay Davis. Tonight, we have got the return of King of the Ring, Andrew Briggs. We haven't seen him in a month since the uh, fusion after Sacrifice when he lost out on the world title against Hayden. Took himself a vacation. Now he's back. And he'll be taking on a man he's been beefing with on Twitter for weeks now. And the new Mr. Money in the Bank, Chris Diamond. What a Coleman event. As Travis King and Logan Hale battle Josh Whoop and Schmitty. And the main event going to be a doozy. Damien and Paul Devine one-on-one, -on -one guys. And still that announcement from Johnny Sampson regarding the world title match at Regicide. Here we go, Percy Simmons, Jay Davis, one-on-one -on -one non-title matchup. Jay Davis, been unbeaten since his return, wants to keep that up. But again, a win for Percy Simmons. Could see himself get a future championship match. Arm drag by Davis. Nice chop block, though, by Jay. And look at Percy quickly trying to get back up to his feet and going right after that. Like, we saw Jay Davis do this a lot to Matt Devious last night. Seems like Davis... Davious? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> All right. Percy Simmons phasing out of that uh, submission hold that Davis had. Oh my, wait a minute. The light heavyweight champion <laughs> looking to make tonight a quick one. He ain't getting paid by the hour. Stumbling drunk by Davis. One, two, three, and Jay Davis. Thought Percy Simmons. Wow. What a win for Jay Davis, guys. Per absolutely stunned as he takes his leave to the back. Wait a minute. Davis 
What's Davis doing? Attacking Percy as he was leaving. Davis isn't done. Made short work of Simmons, but the light heavyweight championship is not finished. Attacking Simmons now into the steel steps. Come on, Jay, it's enough already. Davis looking down at Simmons, who's in a Davis. Putting an exclamation point on that impressive victory, tainting it by attacking the deck after the bell had already rung. And on to our next matchup, guys. We get a tweet here from Jay Davis who says, I wanted something out of you, Simmons. And what happened? You choked. I wasn't taking it in the ring, and I'm not taking it now. So Jay Davis trying to justify his actions attacking after defeating him there. I got to say, I was definitely shocked at that outcome. <clears throat> but Davis, man. On a whole nother level since coming back. And now, guys, tonight we already found out who would be challenging for the Fusion Tag Team titles in four weeks at Regicide. Brass Ring Club defeating Shindig Shebang in order to challenge the ballers. Punch Pierre Thompson, the big dog, for his CMB United States title as voted by the CM Universe. A six-pack challenge coming our way to answer that question for us. As we have got Asriel, Perry Heaton, Harvey Hastings, Matteo Yum, and Jacob Ziegler. The five men lost the Money in the Bank ladder match last night at Dark Carnival. And joining them, Alistair Knox, who defeated Pierre in a non-title match on last in a six-pack challenge. Of course, Alistair Knox of these six, the only one with experience in this match type. He won a six-pack challenge to retain his Anarchy title. Now the former Rising Star champion, Anarchy champion, Knows that he can beat him if he can make it through five others. He'll get the chance to add another title to his already impressive resume. Lag, fuck, I'm so livid right now. I'm trying my best. I really want to pull a Tim and just F5 everything in my room. Because this just pisses me off beyond belief that it's lagging like this. <laughs> hey, dude, DJ, is that uh? Are you Jackson Bros, DJ? I don't think we ever had you in the chat before, my friend, but welcome. Nice to nice to have you here, if it indeed is you. And coming out here first, ladies and gentlemen, going to be the twisted Azrael. And Azrael actually going back and forth on uh, Twitter with Maceo Yume earlier today. Of course, uh, everybody in the Money to Make Ladder match, besides Chris Diamond, of course, of it, has been throwing shots at Yume. If you go back, you didn't see it. You kind of had the opportunity to yank Diamond down off the ladder, but instead of you leave the ring, thus allowed Diamond to unhook the briefcase and become the new Mr. Money in the Bank. And here we go. Great. Why am I even talking? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Look at this shit. Why? Why? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can't. It's lagging too much. It's lagging way too much. Ah. <sighs> 